Hi there, I'm Sue Resig and I'm going to show you a new dish tonight and unfortunately I have to do my own video. I can't wait for my husband to get home from work because we need dinner tonight. So here's what we're having. I'm going to make a shepherd's pie and I'm going to, I've done a little pre-work ahead of time uh, just for ease of showing you how to put it together. There's some things here that I think you already know how to do. So let's see how this goes. What I have here is a pot of mashed potatoes, which I'm assuming you know how to make mashed potatoes, but in case you don't, you take potatoes, you wash them, you quarter them. Uh, I don't peel, in Gerson we're gonna leave the peels on, and you cover them with a little distilled water, and you just boil them until they're tender, about 20 to 25 minutes. And I mashed these using uh, grated fresh garlic and some finely chopped uh, parsley. You can see the parsley that's in there. And I did hand mash them with, uh, oh, well, a hand masher. And then I finished it up with a um, insertion blender in order to make them a little creamier. I just couldn't do it good enough by hand. If you're able to have yogurt, I would put a little yogurt in there when you blend it because that'll make them a little creamier and give them a nice flavor. I'm not doing dairy right now, so I just made them plain with a, some of the cooking water for moisture. Uh, the next layer is going to be sauce. Now, this, this sauce that I've made here is actually a combination of tomatoes, butternut squash, and garlic. This is a butternut squash, if you've not seen one before, and this is how I made this sauce last night. I actually cut it into sections, about two or three inches, and then I, I uh, stand each section up on the table and I use a sharp knife and cut down and cut the peel off of it. Uh, you hollow out the inside, you take the seeds out, and when I just had chunks of squash, no seeds, no peel, I put those chunks into uh, a large pot, a large soup pot, and I filled in with tomatoes. I used probably oh, a, a two pound squash and about two to three pounds of tomatoes. It's, it's um, about equal portions of tomatoes to squash and an onion. And I don't add any water. I just put the lid on and I simmer it, oh, oh, a good hour to an hour and a half until everything's nice and tender. And then again, I used an immersion blender. It's, that's one of these guys that you just stand in, and and that's what I did to get this really beautiful puree, and it really has a lovely flavor, and I, and I did cook the garlic in with it too. I cooked a little garlic in for some flavor, and then in the bottom of my shepherd's pie, I have cooked green beans and yellow beans, the wax beans that I've put in there. I got um, some of those at the farmer's market yesterday that were organic. I have them. I cooked these in Hippocrates soup. So they were nice and tender. So this is how I put together um, this casserole. So I'm going to pour some of this on there. A nice layer. We used to make shepherd's pie or shepherd's casserole when we had a family. And of course we made it oh, the, the sad, oops, oh, wow, there we go. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> The sad way, which was the standard American diet way, where the bottom had hamburger and the middle had canned vegetable soup or tomato soup, and then the top had instant mashed potatoes. So that probably wasn't the healthiest of choices. So now we are making a healthy version, a Gerson, Gerson version. And there, got my sauce all filled in nicely. And then I'm going to top it with mashed potatoes. So let me bring these over and we'll just scoop that on top. And having just made these, they're still hot and soft, which helps. I, I This is one of the reasons why I had to hurry up and get this video made because you know what happens. If you let potatoes get cold, they'll never be soft again, no matter how you warm them up. So I needed to get this put together. And I'm not used to doing it one time. All right. This is going to be really tasty. And I put a lot of garlic in uh, the raw garlic when I did the potatoes. Uh, I really miss, I don't miss salt. I miss pepper. I don't know. Do you? And I, I used to make my mashed potatoes 
uh, when I made them the traditional way with, with more pepper because it just gave them such a nice flavor. So I find that if I miss pepper flavor, I add a little raw garlic and that gives me a little bit of the heat that I miss from pepper. And then when I get the potatoes on, I just kind of gently push them around a little bit until it's flattened out a little bit. There, it's going together very easily. And that's it. We're, you know, it's, it's, it's not fancy. It's, it's kind of nice stick to your ribs kind of dish. Um, comfort food in our house because we all loved it and I think it's going to taste very good. I love the way that uh, butternut squash and tomato soup came out. So that's that's the casserole right there and it's made and ready to go in the oven and we'll heat it up. Hi, well I put the casserole in. I didn't pay any attention to the clock. I think it was 45 minutes an hour at the most. But it looked done, and that's why I'm taking it out. Ooh, and that looks really good. Look at that, all bubbly. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice. So that'll be a tasty casserole tonight for dinner. And I know it's going to taste good, because all the parts of it taste good when I put it together. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Mmm, yeah. Green beans, potatoes, and that good soup. All right, that's it. I hope you, I'll, I'll put the directions and the approximate amounts in the write-up under the video. So if you didn't get it, I know this is a little different than usual, but at least you'll have it to go by then. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Have a good night.